This is just my rug that I had to put in. I didn't finesse the lady out, but she tried to finesse me out of it because she told me it was $29.99. Then the manager tried to change it and say it wasn't $29.99, but it wasn't my fault because it didn't have a price tag on it. and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Cameron I am 20 years old I'm in college and basically on this channel I film everything like you never know what you're gonna get everything from vlogs skincare hauls hauls are my favorite obviously because he doesn't like to buy stuff but yeah welcome to my channel as you can tell by the title of the video everybody knows I say this every single time I decided to bring you guys my official dorm tour now I did do a COVID essentials dorm tour before we knew if we were going back to school but basically that video it's going to be right up here and that video is just showing like the essentials things I use for both freshman and sophomore year and things that I'm carrying over to this year so like things that lasted my favorite products so if you haven't seen that video yet check that video out because I won't be like repeating any of the items but now I'm just going to show you guys all the new things I bought and I told y'all in that other video I wasn't gonna go overboard, but uh, they finally told us we could go back to school. It's September and I just got so excited, so I just had to do my room like a different thing than I've done the last year or the year before. So yeah, like um, if you guys are interested in seeing what I got, let's get into it. I can't wait to show you guys. I can't wait to be back to school, number one. And oh, my dorm haul will be the next video after this. So subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss that. But without further ado, let's get into what you guys are here for, the haul. Okay, so in my last video, I kind of did it in categories and I think you all really enjoyed that. So let's start off with bedroom stuff. So bedding, anything that goes on your bed or anything like that. To start, okay, y'all, so this is not my fault that I got this. This is my mother's fault because every year she thinks that I have to have a new comforter. I don't, the other comforters, y'all, I promise you they're in the basement. They're perfectly fine, but she thinks I needed a new one. So that's what we got. This one I just got from TJ Maxx. Can y'all see? Okay, it's just a huge white comforter. It's so pretty and it has like that ruching, I think it's called, where like the pieces come together. I don't know if you can see on my bed right here. But that same type of design, it's just white and plush and obviously it's in a size twin XL. And it also comes with a pillow sham, two pillow shams and a square pillow, like a decorative pillow. And I highly suggest y'all for your dorm shopping, go to places like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, those type of places because you will find the perfect stuff for your dorm without spending too much like this whole comforter i got for 30 dollars and it's so nice like you can tell it's good quality so this is the first thing i got for like bedding wise the next thing my mom picked up for me she just got some more sheets and also i get these every year i don't know about you guys but you know like new sheets just make you feel different I don't know what made her pick out stripes, but I'm going to be thankful. Um, yeah, very interesting for my age, but whatever. You won't be able to see them, obviously, because they're going to be under my bed. The next thing I got was just, oh, and this is from Target, y'all. And just, it's a size twin, extra large. Also, places like Target, I know for sure is where I always get my bedding because they always have twin XL, like for college. And Bed Bath & Beyond does too. Bed Bath & Beyond is just going to be like a little more expensive, but they're good quality too. So, you can just weigh your option. The next thing I got, this one is actually from Shein. And I just picked up two silk um, pillowcases. And they're so soft but obviously for my natural hair ladies or really any girl you do not want to be sleeping on like cotton pillows because it really breaks off your hair so to keep like your styles lasting longer that's how you can preserve it one way which is with silk pillows and then the last thing i got for i guess you could say my bed is just this throw and these are something that i do have to get every year because I don't know about y'all, but depending on the type of blanket you have, like they can start to look very dingy, especially the fur ones, like the fur starts to lay down. So I just picked this up from Marshalls. Yeah, I got this from Marshalls. It was only $17. It's super, super duper soft. It's the brand Berkshire Blanket and Home. 
And yeah, that's the next thing I picked up. This year my room colors are like green, white, and maybe a hint of pink just because some of the items I wanted to keep from last year and the year before are pink. But yeah, white, gold, greenish kind of vibe. So kind of a more mature, but like subtle, but excuse me, subtle vibe. Just because of like during this time, I need to like be stress-free, especially since I'm gonna be doing all my homework in my room. And oh my God. Gosh, y'all, quick little story time, sorry. Um, I'm filming this video right now because YouTube makes me so happy and the stress of school I just had an anatomy practical, 65 questions in 50 minutes, all short answer. And we had a study guide, right? So you know how you have a study guide, the diagram should be like somewhat similar. Yeah, they weren't. So I'm not gonna get into that cause I don't know who watches my videos, but pissed to say the least. But yeah, let's move on to the next category and I'm going to do decoration. Okay, so like I told y'all, I'm keeping most of my decor items. I just had to get a few new things because obviously some things you can't keep. And then I just wanted to change up my room a little bit. So I got a few more things. So I got this rug. <sighs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got this accent rug. It's 42 inches by 66 inches. Yeah, so it's pretty big. And another story time about this rug, where's the tag? Okay, I got this from TJ Maxx for $30. You're probably like, oh my gosh, like I need to go to TJ Maxx because how'd you get such a big rug for so cheap, right? No, it was H-E double hockey sticks because I went to TJ Maxx looking for a rug, obviously. I get there and I see this color rug and a darker one. But y'all know I just told you my colors were like, let me put this. Okay. I just told y'all my colors were like white-ish. So obviously you don't want a super gray rug because like that's bringing dark in, I guess you could say, like a dark, a darker palette. So I picked out that rug and I'm like looking all over the rug and I see no price at all. Like there's no price on it. So I go to find a lady and I'm like, excuse me, like I don't see a price. Can you help me find one? And she's like, um, sure ma'am, I don't see a price either. So let me go do a price check. She goes to the counter, then later goes to look at the other rug to see if it has a price. And like, I guess she didn't find any cause it took her like 25 minutes. And then she finally tells me, okay, it's $29.99. So I was like, wow, like that's a big rug for that size. But then I was like, it's TJ Maxx. So obviously it's gonna be cheaper. Yeah, no. So number one, I went on a Saturday. So I wait in line for 40 minutes. So keep in mind at this point, I've been waiting for 60 minutes. I get to the counter, everything's fine. This lady's checking me out. And um, I was like, they didn't have a tag on it, but she told me it'd be $29.99. So the lady checked me out, acts confused. And so I'm just looking at her while she's looking at me while I'm looking at her. And I'm like, like, did I say something wrong or what's the issue? And the other girl comes up with the manager and she's like, yeah, I said it would be $29.99. And the manager's like, okay, like, let me just go get the barcode from a similar item so we can bring it up since it doesn't have a tag. So, I'm waiting for like five to seven minutes. I go ahead and tell the lady checking me out. I was like, oh, you can take the next guest so they're not waiting because the line was so long. So obviously I'm not gonna have her waste her time standing with me when she could be taking another guest. So um, she's taking the guest and then I she had on like a microphone and I guess they called her on the microphone and told her that the rug was actually not $29.99. So she's telling me that and I'm like, well, um, I've waited all this time. That's the price she told me. I don't know if I would have been in line had the rug been a different price. Cause obviously that's a steal. And obviously if I'm going back to college, I'm looking for like good deals. Like I, this is not my house. Like I'm not gonna use these items after. Um, so I was like, well, that's what we were told. Your associate told me that I waited all this time for it. And I'm like, can I speak to the manager? So the cashier acts hesitant at first and then she starts to play that game of like, I'm the manager. But I've worked in retail and sales before and obviously I know how the game goes. So I was like, no, man, please speak to the manager that was just up here in the green. Trying to be as polite as I can, trying to be as calm as I can. My mom is right here. Um, and the manager comes back up and she was like, I'm sorry, like my associate told you the wrong price. And I was like, well, that's your associate. This is a multi-billion dollar company. Um, it doesn't, like, that. you told me that price, so good customer service, you're gonna give me that price because that's what I was told. And that's what I waited an hour for in line, which the line shouldn't even be an hour, but who cares? Like, we're understanding, we know it's COVID. They can't have people, like, working right next to each other. But I was still like, I'm gonna get my rug for the price that she told me because I waited for it. 
So long story short, the lady gives me this spill like she's my mom or something, and me mom, me and my mom are looking at her crazy because like I don't care like to hear what she's saying. She's saying all this stuff like don't think this is ever gonna happen again. And I was like, number one, this TJ Maxx is not even in my area, and number two, you're not gonna remember me. So if it does happen again, like and what? But yeah, so that happened, but I finally got my rug for $30, obviously, because I was gonna get it for $30 anyways, because that's what she told me. But yeah, that's how I got my rug, and I freaking love it. It's like gray with like, it probably got on me. Do I have a stain on my shirt? Can y'all see that? I hope y'all can't see that. But <laughs> it's um gray with sparkles in it. It's like the perfect gray, like gray enough to go with white. So yeah, I love it, and that's how I got it for $30. <laughs> the next decor item I have, so I don't keep you guys here all day, is this that I actually got from the Dollar Tree, but I ordered one of those Target like six cube organizer things. I'll insert a picture because I haven't picked it up yet, but I thought this would be cute to put on top of it and like put a candle in for like the fall time. Obviously, I can just burn my different candles, and it's like gold and so cute, and it was only a dollar. The next thing I got, oh, here's the candle I wanted to show y'all. This is a candle I got. Let me put y'all on, on Rosewater and Ivy from Bath and Body Works. Mm. Wow. I just love it. But look, so cute to just like sit on the thing like this, you know? Maybe with a plant or something like that. But yeah, that, I got this uh, candle as well for my room. And then I got the gold thing to go on top of the cube organizer. The next decor item I got was just, y'all are probably like, Cameron, like what's in that bag? Um, it's just like those leaves. I'll insert a picture, but if y'all have seen, okay, good. If y'all have seen those pictures with like the leaves hanging with like the lights, I got that and then like the hanging curtain lights is what they're called. Hanging curtain lights is what they're called. And I just got this to put over these um, in my room. And this, this is, they're both from Shein, actually, for like $2.99, I believe. So cheap. But I ordered them like a long time ago. Like, I progressively got dorm items because they hadn't told us if we were going back to school. So I didn't want to overdo it. But I'd rather like get stuff gradually than like go at one time and like spend so much money. The next thing I got, these are actually from Shein as well. And this one... I love you guys, so I'll do all the work of taking it out. It just says like girls, girls, girls. This will probably go in the restroom because I didn't think it was gonna be this. And also like these aren't my colors. But, oh, or it can go like in our living room area. But yeah, I got that. And then I got like the light up lips. I don't know if y'all have seen them, but they don't have batteries in it right now, obviously. But they just light up hot pink. And I thought this would be so cute to like go with the lights and that green um the greenery like to make a filming section or anything like that just to have like a cute little touch. the core item you could say i got this year is this and this actually did not come like this i got the frame from target for literally five dollars target has the best frames i also got um three 16 by 20 frames for eight dollars each because as y'all have known, this whole quarantine time, y'all saw my room go from blue to gray. And now I just have to put up my decorations. But I've been trying to decide like how I wanted my room. And it's also kind of difficult to bring new colors because my chalkboard wall over there is hot pink, which y'all have also seen. So yeah, but I, I'm so happy with this. Basically what you do is you go on Etsy and you can order any print and print it out as staples for literally like 30 something cents, depending on the size and the quality you want. And then you just like buy a hanging frame. So this whole masterpiece cost me all of $5 and it's beautiful and we love black artwork. So yeah, that's another decor item that I got. Now let's move on to, I lied. I got this bad boy for $11, a six foot lamp. Can y'all see in the picture? Cause obviously I can't take it out just to put it back in the box. But I got this six foot reading lamp. It's so pretty. It's like a gold color. And I thought I could put it like by my bed. I'm literally so excited for my, this, my room this year. Cause it's like minimal, but so freaking cute. So make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for this video. But it just says gold finish with white shade, six inch floor lamp. I got this from Walmart for literally only $6. Okay, now let's move on to like kitchen items and 
etc. This is just going to be the etc. section. So the next few things I grabbed guys were I got a new hamper and this is just like a fold up one and it's like a grayish color in black. It's just gonna go in the closet. It's not gonna be seen. But my other one I'm is like breaking down from freshman year of how many times like I lugged it across the thing. So I just thought I might as well get a new one. And this one has the handles because obviously you don't want to be like bear hugging your laundry. It's so much easier to just be able to pick it up with the handles. So this is the first miscellaneous thing that I got. The next, I got a shower caddy for me and my roommate, just because I have one of these in my house, in my restroom, and it comes in handy, especially with like natural hair and stuff, and since we're in like our own area now, and I'm not sharing a bathroom with four people, it's just better to be able to like leave my stuff in the thing, and then it has like one for the soap as well, so you can put your shampoos, conditioners, body wash, anything you'd want in here, and I just got like a gold finish, and I got this from Marshalls. And it was ten dollars if y'all can see the next miscellaneous that i got toaster baby because if you know me then you know english muffins and bagels i'm obsessed with so obviously i had to get a toaster because i need to be able to toast them because i don't want to eat it untoasted yeah so and for like sandwiches and stuff i just thought i'd get this and i believe it was twelve dollars it's just a Target brand toaster made by design. And it's like a grayish color. So I got that. Oh my gosh, y'all. I also got an egg maker and this thing was $5. And it, you can make seven eggs at a time. Basically you just put the eggs in the thing. Can y'all see? You put the eggs in this thing and it makes seven of them like boiled and all you need is water. I don't know how it works. I don't even know if it takes a long time, but I got it for five dollars at Walmart, so it's trustable. And it says you can make omelets with it. You can make steamed vegetables. You can make poached eggs. So I, oh, and it has an egg separator. So like, if you just wanted the egg whites, wow. This is a brand nostalgia, y'all. I recommend it if you like eggs for breakfast, especially or if you are like an athlete or anything and need to be on need to be able to cook food really quick on the go highly recommend the next thing i got i just got these from walmart it's just like a few plates bowls cups because um typically i use plastic but i was like for like dinner i can use like a normal plate and obviously for cereal i hate eating cereal out of a freaking plastic bowl because like the bowl gets all like I don't know it just be feeling like the cereal is about to fall out and it doesn't be big enough either so yeah i just got all these they were all 50 cents I, like they're good quality they're like sturdy and only 50 cents so go to your walmart i also saw them at target for 68 cents but obviously if you want to buy it cheaper you'd go to walmart yeah um the next thing i picked up target was having a sale so by the time you're seeing this i'll link it down below if they're still having the sale but it was like buy one get one 50 percent off and then these were also three dollars off so i just got some tide pods because it's easy to just throw in the washing machine and be done versus like lugging around the cup to the washing machine pouring liquid detergent in the cup there's still being some left in the cup then the cup being dirty but you putting it still on top and then it dripping down the bottle if you know you know and then I got some unstoppables. If you haven't tried these yet, try them. You just throw them in a few and like they melt or whatever. And they smell amazing. So those are two items I picked up. And the last and final things I got guys are just some toiletries. So I'm just gonna, some are from Target and some are from the Dollar Tree. And I'll just go through and explain where they're from and just show you what I got. Um, so number one, I got shampoo and conditioner. Everybody talks about this Maui Moisture shampoo and conditioner and it has no sulfates which is amazing so i wanted to try it because usually like i don't a lot of hair people say this but do like regular brand hair products work like better for y'all like generic brands versus like those super expensive brands i know for me like pantene in the brown bottle works so well for my hair so i was like why not try this um it wasn't that expensive i believe six dollars each but everybody talks about it and it says for thick curly hair and all the ingredients are 100% fresh ingredients. So I picked those up. I got some vitamins, obviously, especially during this time. 
These are ones that I always take. They're just the Alive Women's Gummy. They help your hair grow too, so. Recommend that. Um, I got some lotion. This is my favorite lotion ever. Um, just for like, you know sometimes you don't wanna wear like scented lotions. Yeah, this is my favorite one. I picked up the new Dove Even Tone Restoring Powder Deodorant. And it's supposed to like make your underarms like not have like darkness. I don't know if y'all, this happens to y'all, but some deodorants like make my underarms really dark, but then like I'll go back to using a different deodorant and it goes away. So yeah, Dove has a new even tone one, so I thought I'd try it out. And it says it has vitamin B3, which I guess is what causes you to not have discoloration. <laughs> and then I just got the Dove Hydrating Body Wash, and this is my favorite Dove products. If y'all have watched my skincare routine, y'all know, I put it on my face, I put it on my body. It smells so freaking good. I just love Dove. But yeah, that's what I got from Target for toiletries wise. And I still have to go to Walmart to pick up a few other things just because like, I like having all my toiletries there versus like having to run to the store when I need them. Like I'd rather just have like an extra stock. Um, Yeah, oh my gosh, you know what I don't have up here that's downstairs? Cause just for you guys, I loved all this stuff I had already downstairs like ready to put in the car up here but i got a bunch of dove soap i got like eight things of it like the bars um that y'all know i always use um but they're downstairs but i got eight they were a dollar each next thing i got is some tupperware just for when i make food so i can um like store it if there's too much and they're just the rubbermaid brands both a dollar there's two in each q-tips for cleaning my belly button rings and my piercings Bobby pins, because you always need them. Oh, these are from Target, too. I got some baby wipes. Like that you keep in the bathroom. <laughs> and then I got a shower curtain, the liner, not the actual curtain, because I haven't found our shower curtain yet. Um, and then I got some hair bands or whatever. Also, I don't know. I am like missing. I also got a um, floor mat for our like shower area that says like, get naked on it. Super cute. I'll insert a picture because I don't know where it's at. But it's clearly not in here. But yeah. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. That is it for my official dorm haul. If I pick up anything else, it'll be in my next video, which is going to be my dorm tour. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed me. Round of applause just for me. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you watch the other one, the like COVID essentials video, because if you're wondering why this is so little, it's because that video has so much. It's literally like 27 minutes long, but it has like 10K views. So yeah, I appreciate you guys for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe so you can come and tune in for another video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.